Hey everybody, this is Robert with Mall3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Octobot by Steve Tikowski. And we're going to prepare this for 3D printing on a FDM or FFF machine. If you were to try to print this all in one go, you would have a ton of support material all in the inside of the legs and the body and this o this little uh, camera light um, thing, which is a, just a lot of overhangs and it's kind of stressful for any printer really and you won't really get the best results. So um, let's take a look at how we broke it down already and we're going to take a look at one aspect of how we achieved this. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four pieces of the character. Um, this leg obviously gets duplicated around eight times. And then we have these little pins and these pins snap together kind of like a toy. And uh, we have three sized pins, one small one up here for the light, one medium size, one, one large one actually for the head. So the head rotates and, um, and one for the leg here. So we're just going to look at how we did the leg. So this is a Octobot that has not been affected yet. And we're going to just quickly go through the, the technique, uh, to do this. It's very similar to making keys. Um, albeit it's a bit improved and it's really cool because everything snaps together. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the body here and we're just going to do the one for this leg and we're going to hide these guys here. So we're just going to concentrate on this one section. So, um, we're going to use what's called an insert mesh. So what we do is hit the B key and the I key and we have this, uh, IMM FDM pin one. Um, that we already have pre-made and in a later tutorial we'll go through how to make one of your own so you can see I could just drag this anywhere and um, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this right in the center of this uh, you know leg joint and uh, don't worry about being exact we can always uh, we can always modify where, where, where exactly it is we're going to inset it all the way in and we're going to go to the side view and um, and move this up. So we're just going to push that right in there. So we now we know this is connecting into a leg. So we got to make sure that it doesn't stick out and it actually looks okay. And if you hit transparency, you can see that we're getting kind of close. So we might want to inset this just a little bit more. Alrighty. So that looks pretty good. Um, and it doesn't actually matter that these are perfectly center and the more center, the better, but that's going to work out pretty good for us. So if we take this, uh, this model now, we, we use the insert mesh. So it's all kind of one polygon and we're going to clear our mask. We're going to go down here and hit split and say split to parts. And now you can see we generated actually three new parts. We generated two cutter shapes and then we have our pin. This is our pin that's in place and in the correct scale. And it already has a tolerance, um, uh, to it so it's actually slightly smaller you can see it's already slightly smaller than the cutting shape so it's going to fit right right in there nicely so the next step is a pretty common one we're just going to boolean out these uh, cutter shapes so let's go ahead and select our body here and then we're going to just double check and make sure that this is uh, ready to go and we're going to turn on visibility and make sure those are off select the body and uh, we're going to hit this little half moon circle here and then we're going to merge this down merge down and we're going to redraw our dynamesh and we'll let that run all right so that is all done running and um, you can see that we have a perfectly cut hole one thing to keep in mind is you notice how we put the flat sides on the side and the round side this allows the 3d printer to gradually build up the top edge here um, limiting its need for use of support if the flat edge was here um, it would have to generate this whole edge all at one time and you might have um, drooping or overhang issues. So we're going to actually do this one more time with the leg now. So we're going to go ahead and move this all the way down. We're going to select the leg. Let's hide that body real fast. And we're going to show the pin. And um, always make sure that um, before you dynamesh these uh, booleans is that everything is a solid poly group. So we're just hitting control W on each one. And we're going to do the half moon again and select the leg and we're going to merge down and then we're going to redynamesh. All right. So that's cut out now too. So let's take a look at what we're left over, what we have left over. So we have the pin and a body all done and it's going to fit together really nicely. So let's go ahead and just, we'll just move this out for presentation 
and you could see how this is all going to kind of fit together. So let's turn off transparency, and that's one leg done. Uh, so in the future, we would have done all of these at the same time, and um, and then we would have just been um, saving ourselves a little bit of time. We could use radial symmetry for that. And um, that's pretty much the method that we use to break down this uh, octobot. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out at mol3d.com. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at mol3d. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our videos. Uh, lots more to come. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.